Hi everyone, the topic for today is a short high level overview of Fortimonitor. Fortimonitor is a SaaS service that gives you visibility into the performance of your network, your servers, endpoints, cloud assets, and does digital experience monitoring. In addition to giving you timely visibility, it notifies you and you can even take action when there's an issue, sometimes even before your users notice. It does this by collecting telemetry from laptops and desktops, from the network, and from all of your infrastructure and applications, and also by integrating with the Fortinet security fabric. When we look at the architecture, we can see that Fortimonitor is a SaaS solution that is part of FortiCloud. We do all of the data collection and aggregation in the cloud. All the visualizations are handled in the cloud. All of the dashboards and reports that can be scheduled, as well as the notification engine. That notification engine does two things. It will notify the right people when there's some kind of an issue, and it will also run our automated remediation, which we call countermeasures. What that means is in response to an incident, we can take an action to quickly try to resolve the issue. Some of the other components here are the global monitoring network, where we have over 50 locations around the world where you can test the availability and performance of your external facing applications and services to make sure that they're all up and responding and responding quickly from all different locations. In the data center and in your cloud VPC, we have a virtual machine called an on-site collector, which we call the on-site. The on-site collector does all of the SNMP metric collection from legacy network devices that support SNMP, collecting metrics for the device in all of its ports once per minute. So anything that has an SNMP MIB, we can monitor that using the on-site collector. There's also a hardware version of the on-site available, the FMN 100F. You can also spin up a separate virtual machine to collect NetFlow. When you have mostly Fortinet equipment, we can use SNMP or we can connect to the Fortinet security fabric and use an API to collect the metrics. One way we can connect to the fabric is to proxy the API calls through FortiManager, which allows us to discover provision metrics and start monitoring all of your devices with one simple connection, which makes it very easy to get started monitoring all of your Fortinet equipment. The on-site collector also does synthetic monitoring so that it can check the availability and response time of applications from the perspective of the on-site. And then we have our Fortimonitor agents that run on servers and desktop machines that can also do synthetic application availability checking. For example, if the CPU goes over 95% for a certain amount of time, we're gonna do two things. We're gonna notify people according to our alert notification timeline for that server. And we're also gonna run the countermeasures. The countermeasures can be as simple as writing a top command to see what the processes are using uh, all of the CPU, but we could also restart the application or restart IIS or reboot the server or network devices. Anything you can do in a Bash or Python or PowerShell script, you can run that as a countermeasure. For hybrid and cloud infrastructure, we also run in the cloud. In addition to having direct integrations with a lot of the services and AWS and Azure, we can also put an on-site collector or an endpoint agent there and run synthetic checks. The last component is the Fortimonitor agent, which can monitor servers and endpoints and test the availability of web applications. There is a server version of the agent that gets metrics like CPU, memory, disk, and network utilization, as well as other machine-based metrics. And there's also an endpoint version which collects those metrics and adds things like Wi-Fi signal strength, network quality metrics like latency and jitter, and does a periodic download speed test. This is meant to provide much greater visibility into performance for home and remote branch users. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.